Hi FabX, I know it's been a while, but I'm here to show you what I've been working on lately because I have been watching a lot of different videos. Well, one particular video, I think I mentioned it before. Her name is Willow507. Journal. Oh my goodness, I always mix her name up. Let me find it. Hold it a minute. Oh my goodness, her name is um This transformation is Willow. Oh, her name is Willow 507 House. <laughs> oh my gosh. Journals. I believe that's what it is. Here it is. It's 507 Willow House Journal. And I have been stalking her um, for a couple, maybe one week now. And she has this um, journal that she called the Flip Flop Journal. And I made one and I'm going to share it with you this morning. And I'm also going to show you how to make one. But before I do that, let me show you this one. This one is not a flip-flop journal. This is just a regular journal that I made. I hope you can see how gorgeous she is. And um, this was just a book cover from one of the um, um, books that I got off of eBay. And do I have it here somewhere? I don't think. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is a beautiful book. And I saw someone else had it, and I decided to get it. I mean, it has so many lovely pages inside. It's Island, the Diary of the Year of Exdale, or Eastdale. And it has, I mean, some gorgeous pictures in it. And look at the writing. Look, look at the writing, ladies. I mean, I fell in love with the writing myself. See how gorgeous the writing is? So it has a lot of beautiful, and it also has the months of the year. Here's December, and the pictures are nice, November. So if you want to do a, like a, um, look how gorgeous. So if you want to do like an annual calendar with all the months in it, you can um, just take these pictures and use them in your calendar okay so this is the cover the paper cover that i took off and i just used it as this journal right here so let me give you a flip through i haven't completed it yet but i did start it and this flips up here and this here is this flips up also and here is affirmations i have a tag in this one this is a pocket here's my ladybugs you know how i feel about ladybugs so this um and and it, the pages are different you know you could just do little tears and tidbits or whatever here is um, a writing space here and I love these ladies here I put a pocket this is a pocket here here is another one of my tags of one of my vintage women and here is my little charm I added to her here's another page here gorgeous this here is a lid to um journal I just added to this page right here I stapled it it's not really perfect but it's perfect for me <laughs> I love how it came out I love how it came out like I put a journal on one page how crazy is that? So I'm just going to show you the pages that I have to complete. And they're all tattered and torn. I use dictionary music. Uh, here is one of those pages I took from that book I just showed you. 
So, and this here is another journal here. I mean, this is the other side of the journal, actually. So, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Not this one, because this is just a regular journal here. But I'm going to sh show you how she made what you call a flip-flop. A flip-flop journal. And this is a flip-flop journal here. This is the size of a business envelope. There you have your business envelope, okay? So, um, I'm going to show you the inside. This is one page here. And this is mother's child. And her name is Arcadia. Her name is Arcadia. Arcadic. Arcadic. This is her name right here. And I'm going to show you. I love this little picture here of her playing look like she's playing the harmonica while her little child is playing the violin and I have a clearer picture of that so you can see it uh let me see here somewhere uh I forgot who kit this is but this this is a better picture of it here you can see her She's playing the harmonica and the little child is playing the violin. That's a little better picture that you can see. So, let me flip through it. I just started it. So, um, this is why it's called a flip-flop. Because here you have a... I put a pocket right here on this one. This is a pocket. So, this here... It's the front cover. And then you have a flip. Flips out like this. This is a pocket right here. And this here is a signature I put here. Okay. And then it flips and it flops okay so i think here is a i think i'm supposed to put a, a signature right here i believe i supposed to put one right here i'm not sure but i think i i supposed to because i think let me see i'm not sure if you want to put another signature here you can or you could just make this here a pocket and this here a pocket that's what i think i'm going to do so you have your flip and it flips and it flops then this is the front and then you have where it flips here and you have another signature on this side isn't that cute so here is another signature on this side that's why it's the flip flop if you get what I'm saying it is adorable so I, I really do think a, a signature could go here, but I have to make sure. You can put it there. No, I don't think you, I don't think because if I put one there, I won't be able to fold this page. And I, I, I suppose I need to be able to fold this page. Yes. Okay. So let me show you how to make this flip flop journal. And I'm trying not, I'm going to try not to confuse you so much. But listen, you need a regular size envelope and you need three, let me see, three or four. I think you need four business size, okay? And you could cut this down to make this smaller. So let me just cut it down because you can make this a pocket here. You will make it a pocket here. So let me put this on here so I won't get any glue on my new board bless okay so I hope I'm still in frame which I am they're gonna take this and you can use liquid glue or you can use the glue stick it's up really up to you I'm gonna use my liquid glue this morning so you're going to take this part right here I'm just adding glue to the flap 
and then I'm going to add the flap to this one. But you could see here where I took this flap and I glued it to the inside. I glued it, I opened it up and I glued it inside. So this is going to be here. I'm going to add the flap right here. So I could flap it over. And you see I don't go all the way down to the bottom. I leave about maybe um, a fourth of an inch or maybe three-fourths of an inch. Okay, so that is going to bleed your flap right there. So I, like I said, I glued this flap into here. So I'm going to take this flap and every time you use the business, you just cut off the ends of it. Just a little slither just to open it up. Okay? Just a little slither to open it up like this. Okay? And you're going to do that to all four of them. Little slither. How are you ladies doing this morning on this beautiful day that the Lord has made? We should rejoice and be glad in it. Be glad in it. We're going to choose joy today. We're going to choose joy today. We're not going to let anything upset our joy. We're not going to let anything up, upset our peace. Right, ladies? So, let's take one of them. And that's open and we're gonna take this flap here and we're gonna glue this flap to the inside okay I'm gonna take this flap and we're gonna glue this flap here to the inside of this here envelope uh oh I have to cut it down some because this one is bigger I, I, oh, I thought all of them was the same size, so hopefully the ones that you get will be the same size so you can do that. But if not, just cut it. You need to cut it, okay? So let's take it and we're just going to put it inside here. You have to line it up so it will be able to fold. So we want it to fold like that. And this is going to fold and this is going to fold like this okay so this part here will be your when you open it okay so let's take this part here you see what i did i just opened this out and we're going to add this one to here Okay. Okay. So let's just get some glue and just add it. I like to add it to this part here because if we add it to the flap, we're going to have a little gluey part that you don't really want. So add this part to the flap. Line it up. Make sure it will be able to fold and close pull it if it's, it's if it's not right pull it till it get right okay like that okay so actually i believe that is it i don't think i don't think i need another one i think that's it okay so let's cut this part here off because this part here is supposed to be straight because this is this part right here. This is this part right here, okay? So that part has to be cut straight. So we're going to cut these part, this part here off and just cut it as straight as you can. If you have a paper cutter, use your paper cutter. But I'll, I'll go back later and I'll cut this a little straighter. Okay? But this is how it's supposed to look like this. And usually, if you want it to meet right to that line, all you have to do is just fold it up a little bit to that. Not right on the line, but a little bit closer to that line. Because all of these papers right here, you're going to cover them up. Okay? 
So this is it. So it's not really four, I think it's just three envelopes. Okay, so here is the side where you're going to have your one signature here. This will be a pocket. This will be where another signature goes. And this will be your center part where you can add um, tags or whatever you want. And this right here will be also uh, where your third signature goes. So I believe it's three signatures and not four signatures because actually if you will add another signature here, it will, this part will not fold good. Or if you add another signature here, this part will not fold good. But I'm going to check and make sure because even, even if you don't add a signature there, you can add something like this, will, which will be like a signature, okay? You can add something like this here, okay? All righty. And here, like I said, you can add a pocket. So that is what you call a flip flop journal, ladies. That is your flip flop journal. And it has to fold good okay so this is the cover right here that you will decorate this flap okay on this one i did not put where you could put a pocket but you're going to add papers so this part will be covered up but just remember this is going to be a pocket okay so then when you open this part here You open this part here this is what you're looking at right here so right here was where the signature is going to go so this part right here you could just add a paper or whatever just like I did right there okay and then this is going to be the part where it flops and this is the part here where it flops okay so you see that? That is it. Okay. So let's make one more so you can get uh, a better, better, better understanding. So you need, like I say, three business envelopes. I thought it was four, but it's actually three. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're going to cut off the slither, just a slither. So they can open all the way up. And this time I made sure all of them was the same size, okay? I made sure all of them were the same size. They are the same size. And I'm just going to use a small envelope like this. And it can be longer than the actual business envelope but if you want to cut it down instead of making your pocket on the top you can cut it to the side and make your pocket to the side okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one and we're going to glue uh oh I wasn't supposed to cut that. Actually, I can, I think, to make a different type of one. But no, let, not, let me not confuse you. Let's take this one. So I, I cut two, and then I kept this one. I did not cut, do not cut the first one. But you are going to glue that, the flap down, like I showed you here. Glue your flap down. So you're going to take this flap and glue this flap to your first business envelope. Don't go all the way down to the bottom. If you want to, that's fine with you. That's fine. Here's your pocket. Instead of being a top pocket, like this one is a top pocket, this one could be a side pocket, okay? So that's your flap. Then you are going to take one of the other, other envelopes that you cut and you're going to take this flap. 
is all about the flap, girls. This flap and glue it inside this. And see, like I say, made, this time I made sure they both were the same side. And this is opened up. Make sure that you stop it at the line. Pull it. That's another reason why I like to use the liquid. Because it gives you some free play. Okay. So that is going to... Hold correctly. If not, just pull it out a little bit. The glue hasn't really stuck yet. Okay, because it's going to have to go behind. So it goes behind. Then you fold this part. Line this part up good. And this part, okay. So we're going to have to glue these. We're going to have to glue these a little better. Although paper is going to go on top of it, but you still want to glue them a little better. Okay, so this is it. So you're going to take your last one and you're going to glue this flap here. Put this one. This is your other part. Let me cut this before I put it down because sometimes it's hard to cut it as a whole. Okay, so this is your your smaller side so we're gonna take this and like I say I like to add the glue to this because if you add the glue to the flap you're gonna have glue on this extra part right here so I like to add the glue to the this part the back part make sure you don't get it close to the line because it's gonna have to fold Okay, make sure it's straight though. If you're working with something as straight as can be, it's gonna have to come over, so that's good. Wipe off the excess glue, and then this part should be able to fold. So like I said, it's up to you. If you wanna leave this like this, which is not really, you can. If not, just make sure you wanna fold it over so it could be a little wider. That's what I like to do. Okay, then you flip it. Flip it. So here it is. Your cover. Your pocket. Your center. Your center. Signature goes here. And a signature goes there. And then you will have... your signature back here all right so that's it so we have two flip-flop journals already ready to decorate ladies and that's what I'm gonna do with this one right here I'm gonna decorate a page with you today I, I don't have any plan I don't have nothing planned out so you're gonna have to bear with me that we're gonna add something right here not here maybe here I think we have to just put a a vintage woman right here okay so I have all of my vint vintage women right here so I'm gonna pick out one that I want to add to this page right here and I think I want to add her I'm gonna have to cut her down I have a couple vintage women that I do want to add to this journal. Her and her boo. So this, like I say, this journal here is all about moms. So I, I, I do have some of my other um, sisters that I can add also. So it's really up to you which vintage women that you want to use. I really like her. So, and I even have smaller vintage women that I can use. Uh, 
Look how gorgeous she is. Look how gorgeous. So just take out your vintage women and have a plate. You know, I look, look, I love this right here. I can even put this, I don't know whether I have anything that's wide enough, but I can. You can add something, and this can it'll be all right if it comes over, but if it's too large, then you know what? On the next one, she could be your cover. On your next flip flop, she can be your cover. Look how cute. Look how cute she will be right here as a cover. So I think I'm going to keep her for my other flip flop cover. Okay. So let me pick out who, and I can add one right there. I really can if I wanted to. I could add a smaller one right there. And I think I will do that a little later. Oh, she will go perfect right there. So let's put her. And I think I'm going to back her. Can't see. I'm just cutting her out. I think I'm going to back her. I don't think I'm going to back her. I'm just going to distress her a little. And then I'm going to add her right there. And you all know I am a word girl. I like adding words. But I might change it up a little bit. I might not add too many words to this one. But I think she looks gorgeous there. Put a little piece of lace here at the bottom if you want to. You can lace her up. I think I'm going to lace her up. Mm-hmm. If you want to, you can put a flower right there. Because you know she is going to be a chunky monkey. You know that, right? Because all my journals are chunky monkeys. That flower doesn't go there, but I'll find a flower to go there. Okay, so we're gonna add her right add her right there. And I want to make sure the glue is dry, but it's not. So let me just add a little piece of plastic. Anytime I don't have something, my glue is not dry, I add a piece of plastic so it won't stick to the next page. Okay, so I added daydreams right here. And then I added, this here is a journaling spot also on the back. I got this little dictionary, short hand dictionary, if you could see it. Let me show you a page. I got it from um, eBay. It was It's called a shorthand dictionary. And you see how it has the little shorthand? I think that's an adorable page that you can add. So, we're going to add something right here. Like I said, you can add tags to it. It's your journal, and you do what you want to with your journal. Even if we make this a pocket, which I think I might, but I love that. I love that right there. I don't want to cover that page up. I just want to add something to it. And I have to decide which girl that I'm going to add to that page. I think I need a girl like this. I love her. But I have to cut her down. Because she is too... Big for that page. So I'm just cutting her down on the side. But I, I think I want to round the corners. Oh, where is my 
quarter rounder punch. <coughs> some lace behind her. I have some lace. I don't have lace, but I do have this, which I love. This here. So I'm going to add her. Let me just distress it up a little bit. Let me glue this part down first. So like I say, I love, um, her name is Leslie from Willow, 507 Willow House Journal. And she is a Southern girl. And I love her. Her accent is hilarious. I love it. And um, she is hilarious. She makes you laugh. She call everybody that comes on her page her girlfriend. So I'm just putting in the plug for her because she is a very sweet person. And uh, you would enjoy her. Not only her humor, but you will also enjoy her, her talent. Like I say, she is very talented. Very talented individual. Okay, so here, I'm gonna spruce this up a little bit more. Let me add something up here. Let's see what I have here, because I have my girls right here also that I can add to. Put those to the side. So let's see what else that's good and yummy I can put in here. So I do wanna add, let me put this, this is not sticking right here. I do want to add a pocket eventually, and I think I do. I want to do a fabric pocket, so I'm going to have to come back, ladies, and I'm going to have to do some. Um, these flowers are gorgeous. I forgot what friend of mine sent me these flowers, and I thought that they were gorgeous. And I would love to use them in this journal here. Let me get one out so you can see how it looks. I've never seen one like this before, but look how cute that is. I'm trying to understand how she did it. I think she used the puff paint and she just made a flower from the puff paint. So if I add this here, you will see how gorgeous I uh, added. I'm going to add it somewhere in this book because I love that. Okay, so that's one page done. I think maybe I can add a pocket here. They can add a pocket here. So let's find a piece of, now y'all know I love my ladybugs, but I don't want to just flood it with ladybugs, but you all know I love my ladybugs. So let's take this, uh, I'm trying to find a real nice, calm little, Yeah. And I, I say I need my rounder. I don't think I may cut that wide enough, so let's find another one. Like I said, I, this is hands on, ladies. I'm not prepared, so bear with me. But, um,. have to cut my tag down some I don't know this is a whopper stopper so let me just cut my tag down a little I'm just taking a little here off each side because this boo baby is wide okay so I took some off the side and 
I'm still trying to find my, my corner rounder, which I usually have everything right here, and it's supposed to be right here. This is the circle one, but I'm trying to find the corner one. Oh, here it is. So I'm going to round the corners, make sure this is a little, let me see. Make sure to fit. It's okay if it comes over a little. It's, 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 it's okay if it comes off the page a little. Let's see. Because if I put it right there, even with the page, it should be, yeah, it should be, it should be, an, uh, it should be okay. Let's see. Okay, should be okay. So let's round the corners. And and with this, I'm going to use my I'm going to use my um our glitter glue because this has to stick really good because there's going to be a lot of traffic in and out here. <laughs> so, uh, let's unclog it. Okay, so listen, I hope you all can get into this flip-flop journal because I think it's really a lot of fun and I have been watching and then watching her. So you get with it, girlfriends. Like she say, get with it, girlfriends. Okay, so we hope that is stuck. We hope it's stuck. We hope it's stuck. Little bit of showing on this side, but that'll be okay. I work with that. then it's going to go right in there okay so i think i might eventually um do something with that tag but i'm not sure because i don't want to make it too fat because you all know this is a tag right here look how cute that tag looks i actually had a long one we could find somewhere for that to go inside here okay so listen, nothing is wasted, girls. So I'm going to stop right here because I don't want this video to be super long. So let's just recap what we did thus far. And we're going to continue. I hope you um, have fun with making your own flip-flop journal. So like I said, this is called a flip-flop journal. And it's from 507 Willow House Way. Her name is Leslie. And Leslie will be so happy if you will visit her and subscribe to her and you will also become one of her girlfriends so let's just recap what we've done today I showed you how to make the flip-flop journal and she also names her journals I know I name my journals too so this one is called like I said Arcady this is Arcady because she is a mother's she is a mother and she have children so I'm gonna put all the mothers inside of this journal and this is our Katie is the name right here our Katie I'm gonna put that somewhere in there so you all can know so let's cap um, let's recap what I did I showed you all how to make the flip flop journals flip Flop, flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Okay, so we made two of them together. And um, now all you have to do is go back and decorate. Okay, ladies, until next time, God bless you and be inspired.